every therapeutic area has their own kind of gold standard for what they're looking for as far as their endpoints are concerned, as far as their efficacy assessments, and as far as their safety assessments. So if you're someone trying to learn the industry, this is a macro overview of the phases, but you really need to hone in on your therapeutic areas because each one, the studies look for different endpoints, different safety assessments, different efficacy assessments. Now, phase three are the same as phase two and phase one, randomized, usually double blind, except for the case of oncology, and then placebo or active controlled. Again, in oncology, the control group is the standard of treatment in conditions where they are not immediately life-threatening, you can use placebo. Uh, Multi-center trials across geographic regions. After this phase three is done, the regulatory submissions occur. So this is the new drug application, or in the case of a biologics, the biologic license application, a BLA. It takes anywhere from one to four years to complete one of these trials. And then the typical regulatory filing afterwards is another 6 to 10 to 12 months. The typical success rate to regulatory filing is 60%. That doesn't mean that's how many are going to actually get approved. How many actually get approved are much lower than that, of course. I think the last number was like 